Wondering if Kotlin multi platform or Flutter is the right fit for your project? In this video, we'll dive deep into both frameworks, unpacking their strengths and weaknesses. We'll compare number one, programming languages, which are Kotlin and Dart. Number two, the development approach. And number three, the performance for Flutter and KMP apps. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of the key differences between Kotlin multi-platform and Flutter, helping you make an informed decision for your next project. Here is what I code Flutter, ready to roll. And do you know what I code Kotlin? Getting there. Well, why do I say this? When it comes to cross-platform app development, two strong contenders emerge, Flutter, Kotlin multi-platform. Both offer a chance to build beautiful apps for multiple platforms with a single code base. But when it comes to production readiness, there is a key difference. Let's start with Flutter, a proven warrior. Flutter posts a mature and a stable framework battle tested in countless production apps. Even big names like Alibaba, Google Ads leverage Flutter's capabilities. Flutter has a vast ecosystem of tutorials, libraries, and a supportive community which will ensure you're never on your own. You will probably find plugins that Flutter developers have created, allowing you to quickly develop a functionality. Now, speaking about the performance, Flutter renders beautiful, native-feeling UIs with smooth animations and across all platforms. It's production-ready for mobile, web, and desktop. Flutter delivers high-fidelity apps for iOS, Android, Web, Windows, Mac OS, Linux. Well, this is the maximum number of frontends that even this era has seen. Now, I'll come to Kotlin Multiplatform. It's a rising star. KMP offers exciting potential for code sharing across mobile, web, and desktop. However, it's important to consider its current stage. Web and desktop are still in beta. While KMP shines on mobile, Web and desktop support are in beta, meaning the stability might not be on par. Talking about the limited resources, compared to Flutter's vast ecosystem, KMP's resources are still growing. Finding libraries, troubleshooting issues might require more digging. So if you need a production-ready solution with a proven track record for mobile and web, Flutter is a clear choice. Its extensive resources, mature framework, make smooth app and reliable app. However, if you're drawn for KMP's potential, then you can still be comfortable working with a growing technology. It could be a good fit for mobile-focused projects. Just keep in mind the limitations for web and also the desktop. If you're looking for learning Flutter, then consider subscribing to my Udemy course in which I have covered all the topics of Flutter using very easy to learn examples, starting from UI design, routing to state management. It's completely packed with knowledge that can make you industry ready. I'll add the link in the description box. Benefits of KMP versus the benefits of Flutter. The world of app development is constantly evolving and companies are always on the lookout for ways to streamline the workflow and create exceptional user experiences. Think of how simple it's to locate a gas station on Google Maps or to order food from your favorite restaurant. In this context, the rise of Kotlin multi-platform with Compose multi-platform is a game changer, offering companies a new way to create hybrid apps. Let's start with number one benefit that Kotlin developers can create hybrid apps. Imagine writing most of your app's logic and even UI components in a single modern Kotlin code base. Especially if your team has mostly Kotlin developers, then you can use their knowledge to familiarize them to KMP. This translates to significant time savings and reduced maintenance overhead. Compose Multi-Platform then renders this UI components using native elements on each platform. Hence, they look same in Android, iOS, and even any kind of a web. Well, this is under the assumption that you have switched 
to writing logic on compose and not relying on traditional xml for your screen design on comparison here's what benefits of flutter has over benefits of kmm number 1 faster development flutter's star feature hot reload lets you to see code changes almost instantly this significantly speeds up your development cycle kmm on the other hand rebuilds for each platform rich ui with a single code base flutter uses its own powerful widgets to build uis this allows for creating a visually consistent and unique experience across all the platforms kmm however requires platform specific ui development for a truly native feel flutter has a huge third party ecosystem that's because the entire library is well maintained and in fact it's very easy to find solutions for common functionalities kmm being newer has a smaller library selection potentially requiring more custom development now i shall do the comparison for compilation process for flutter and kmd flutter compilation usually involves the flutter engine this is written in c and c++ and is compiled for the target platform this engine acts as a bridge between your dart code and the platform on which you are running example mobile or web app while most of the apps are written in dart some very platform specific functionalities might require you to use platform channels kmp compilation on the other hand involves no platforms kmp has its own leverages that is the existing capabilities for rendering ui this is second advantage that kotlin multi platform offers where there are no performance lags in fact here is a small example for app that switches color on press of a button i created two sample apps one in flutter and the other one in kmp when i press the switch color kmp example the app switching took 58 milliseconds to complete rendering on my device however in flutter when i press switch color with flutter example it took 98 milliseconds well kmp showed its real power that its native performance is optimal future for kmp the future of kotlin multi platform that is kmp for app development is glowing bright thanks to the continued evolution driven by jet brains and google yes why big players backing with jet brains the creators of kotlin and google a major force in mobile app development that is behind kmp is expected even kmp is no longer a fledging technology as it matures expect even greater stability wider adoption and a rich ecosystem of tools both jet trains and google prioritize developer experience this means continued efforts to streamline kmp's workflow making it even easier and enjoyable for developers bridging the ui gap the arrival for compose multi platform is a significant step forward continued development in this area could lead to a future where significant portion of ui code can be shared across platforms overall the kmp's future looks promising backed by industry giants and focused on developer experience kmp has the potential to become a dominant force in cross platform development happy coding